guys, it's Christina, and I am so excited to share with you guys today what I eat on a crazy busy work day. <laughs> so many people are always asking me how they can achieve this lifestyle when they have lives going on, when they have work, when they have children, when they have other events or engagements, and so I'm gonna share with you guys how I eat on a typical work day. I have co-op today, it's Tuesday, and I'm literally going all day long. I work like a 12 to 14 hour day on my co-op days. I'm running our organic produce co-op here in Houston. I have so much fun, but it can be difficult sometimes to keep up with eating. So I thought it would be fun to take my camera with me around today and show you guys what I eat. I woke up early this morning and typically when I wake up in the morning, the first thing that I do is I drink anywhere from 16 to 32 ounces of freshly squeezed fully raw juice. Not just any juice, yes, I drink my own juice. I am one of those people that definitely lives by what they preach. I, I drink my own juice, that may sound weird, but um, the two juices that I had this morning were my fully raw anti-cancer juice, and this is a delicious green juice with cucumber, lemon, romaine, kale, and celery. It's not sweet, but I find that this green juice with lemon is super alkalizing for my body, and I just love how it goes down. The second juice that I had was one of my favorites. It's the Texas Sunrise that we make and sell at our co-op, and I love this one. It has pineapple, orange, apple, and a hint of beet. I'll typically drink one more of these throughout the day just to keep myself hydrated. So after breakfast, I usually wait a little bit. I get some work done, and um, I actually already went for my morning run this morning. <laughs> Sorry I didn't vlog that before, but Crazy busy work day, there's always stuff going on, so I went for an eight mile run, and if you guys were watching my Snapchat, you would have seen my little legs running along, and um, freshened myself up a little bit, and now I'm getting ready to make myself a really quick smoothie, drink it in the car, and uh, go to hitch up my truck and my trailer and head to co-op. Are you ready? Let's go. So I just got to the storage space, we're loading up my truck and we're getting ready for co-op, we're hitching up my trailer and uh, before I started eating my smoothie I wanted to show it to you and I actually, can you see this? So I actually posted this recipe on my Instagram for you guys who want to go and check it out um, but it's really delicious. It literally is just layered frozen and blended bananas with spirulina, there's a ton of blueberries in here. There's a whole layer of soaked chia seeds, some banana and vanilla blended in there in the middle, and then some more blueberry on top. So this is 32 ounces of essentially a banana chia vanilla blueberry smoothie, and this will be lunch for me until I have a snack a little bit later. I typically eat a lot of fruit during the day because I'm using a lot of energy throughout the day, especially co-op days. I'm lifting heavy crates of produce, we're feeding people, we're organizing our markets, and um, so I typically eat a lot of fruit during the day, which for me is energy, because if I'm using energy throughout the day, I wanna be consuming energy. Now I know a lot of people may think that this is a lot of food, but keep in mind that when you are eating a raw food vegan diet, you have to actually eat more fruits and vegetables to get enough calories, because this is really high in water content, but it's not as high in calories as you may think. So all of that being said, I am definitely trying to keep myself properly fueled throughout the day. That way I can be energized and ready to go. So, so can I eat my smoothie now? <laughs> it's gonna happen. What? Do I have something on my lip? <laughs> but it's so good. Mmm. Mmm. You just don't know. Mmm. Christina, you've been making out with some Smurfs? <laughs> have I been making out with Smurfs? Yes. I am a Smurf. Okay, so we're here at co-op. We have set up quite a bit today. As you can see, we have fresh veggies and tons of fruits and juices and a lot of organic abundance. If you guys don't already know about what I do, then you can check it out at rafflyorganic.com. But 
I'm literally here working all day and getting ready, getting the boxes ready, all of the distributors and the farmers, everybody drops off their produce and we organize it and we have a really great time doing this. And um, so it's been a few hours, maybe three, four hours since my smoothie and I'm gonna have a quick snack. Uh, I told you before that I usually do like another juice throughout the day and I've chosen to do the Love Elixir, which is like one of my favorite because it has some of our delicious local Texas oranges in it, which I love so much. I love this juice. And um, just to munch on at the checkout work table that I have right here, I've got a grapefruit, some sweet caracara oranges, and some local Texas strawberries. So I'll eat these right now and then I'll probably have something in a little bit, a little bit later. That's my update. Until later. Okay, so we are winding down from co-op. We are cleaning up and packing up the trucks. In the meantime, I've probably had about three more oranges and another grapefruit that I've been snacking on. It's almost eight o'clock here. We've literally been here all day and um, something funny that you don't always get to see is uh, the back of my truck when it is literally stuffed to the brim with abundance. I will just show you this little tidbit here. <laughs> no, I don't take all of that home, but um, it is some extra co-op goodies. And uh, on my way home, I usually eat like kale or munch on kale in my lap while I'm munching on cherry tomatoes as well. And I just take the cherry tomato and I wrap it up in kale and I just pop it in my mouth. That's what I do. So time to head back home unload and then I'll probably be eating dinner a little bit later so let's go I love how as the day goes on my hair just gets more crazy Mufasa likes to free herself as the day progresses <laughs> so we are at this space right now unloading after co-op it is it's like 9 um, 9 30 something like that I don't actually know the time it's late, so um, definitely it's been a crazy long day. For those of you who have jobs where you work long hours or if you're an entrepreneur and you set your own time, sometimes like the work never ends and it's just an ongoing process but you do it because you love it and that's your passion and that is exactly what I do. It's a never ending job when you work for yourself and you get, oh, hey, hey Hold Tim, up. hey. Anyways, so getting ready to head back. I munched on some kale in the car and I wanted to show you a box that I've been putting together for myself for the past few minutes that I'm gonna bring home so that I can make dinner for myself when I get there. It is this beautiful box right here and it has a young coconut, it has red bell pepper, some tomatoes, avocados, spinach, kale, strawberries, beets, cucumber, and and I am probably gonna be making myself a small rainbow salad with all of those items tonight, along with some of the items that I have at home. So, some of my favorite local items to eat from the co-op today have been the kale and these cucumbers. Local Texas cucumbers are absolutely the bomb. And cucumbers are really great to like snack on and bring with you everywhere, as is fruit. Fruit is fast food. You can bring fruit with you anywhere. They were watching me. Don't judge me. So, now on to our next location with some more crazy hair. Let's go. All right, you guys, so I am back home. It is late at night and it has been a long day. And to give you guys an idea of how long this day has been for me, it is, can you see that? 10.28 p.m. in the evening. So I've been up since 7 a.m. getting ready for the day, working, co-oping, and I'm just now home and getting ready to eat dinner. So normally when you guys see my Instagram pictures, it's usually on a Monday, a Wednesday, or a Friday when I don't have co-op and I don't have a million things going on. So what I thought would be cool tonight is to show you guys essentially what a sloppy dinner looks like for KB. Not sure that you wanna see that, but 
Um, I just, since I've just gotten home, I chopped up a few things to show you what a very simple, easy dinner looks like for me, something that I've made in about less than 10 minutes, which is essentially just a little bit of rinsing, a little bit of chopping, and blending. That's it. So here's dinner. So I've only prepared a little bit because I really just wanna show you what I have here before I start eating it and totally just downing it all. So usually I start off my dinner by eating just a little bit of fruit or a small plate of fruit, and I have two oranges sliced up, I have a few strawberries, maybe like one or two cups of strawberries, a small pint, and I'll eat these before I start onto my rainbow salad. And I'll probably eat this fruit plate before I start on to eating anything else. I had some extra Fireburst juice left in my fridge that I'm gonna finish up tonight. I'll probably get through about half of this, but the flavors in this juice are seriously so good to eat with any dinner because it's kind of spicy, it's kind of warm, and it has some root veggies in it. Also, this bowl right here, I'm gonna blend up into a tomato spinach lemon basil soup. And I put all my ingredients in here, that way I can show you what I'm gonna blend. And after I blend this, it's gonna come out to be a very green, savory soup. And I'm gonna kinda use it as like a side dipping bowl for my salad as well, and even a side salad dressing. So that brings me to my rainbow salad. And this for me is a very basic, fully raw rainbow salad. It's kind of like a sloppy joe night for KB, but what's in this salad is a head of local spinach and a head of local kale. And on top, I have added about a half of one red bell pepper sliced, a little bit of purple cabbage, about a half of one of those local delicious cucumbers that we had, some local strawberries, and I've spiralized about three to four zucchinis just to have on the side. I also have an avocado here, but I probably won't eat all of it. I'll mix it all together and I'll probably end up pouring a lot of my spinach soup onto the salad, but I always, always, always make my own salad dressing every night, no matter what, and this one is absolutely my favorite right now, and I've been making it every night, and it's so delicious. This salad dressing is literally just orange juice, pineapple juice, hemp seeds, basil, and beet. So simple, so easy, so delicious, and just that perfect touch of creamy to add or mix in to your rainbow salad or whatever you're eating that evening. All right, you guys, that being said, this is what I eat in a crazy busy work day, and I hope that you have enjoyed this video. Seeing what I eat when I'm on the go, how I make this lifestyle possible for myself, and how you can do it too. If I can do it in a crazy busy work day, you can too. So this is your motivation to start eating healthy or to continue eating healthy, and to just live life to the fullest, the best that you can. I hope that this video inspires you to eat healthy, no matter what your schedule is like, no matter what your day looks like. If eating healthy is possible for me, I know it can be possible for you as well, even on your most crazy busiest of days. If you guys have liked this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and comment below and let me know maybe perhaps some tricks or tips that you use when trying to eat healthy in your crazy busy work day. If you guys need more tips, tricks, or recipes on how to go fully raw, please subscribe here to Fully Raw Christina as we have fun living a healthy lifestyle and supporting each other through it. If you guys want to follow me daily, you can also find me on Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter, all at Fully Raw Christina. And I Snapchat every day at Fully Raw as well. And I want to just send a special thank you to my Snapchat fam for being so awesome and commenting all the time. You guys are the <laughs> All right, you guys, this dinner is calling my name, and so I think I shall go eat, and then I will go enjoy my evening and maybe even go get some more work done and edit this video for you guys. So, sending you all my hugs and my love, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. I got this feeling, rising through.